Hello, I am Michael Whiteside, an application engineer here at AlleyCat Scientific. In this video, I'm going to show you how to give set points to your AlleyCat device, as well as establish some set point limits. Now let's get started. In order to give a set point to the device, we must first check the set point source. We do this by hitting Menu, Control, Advanced Control, and Set Point Source at the top left here. Now we see we have serial and front panel as well as analog. The serial and front panel is used to give set points over serial or just using the front display, whereas analog is used to give set points in analog control systems. Since we are just using the front display here, we will select serial and front panel. Go back to the main menu and we see the set point button in the top right. We will hit that and we can give any set point within the 0 to 50 SLPM range. Say we would like to do 5 SLPM, we scroll up and hit set. Now we see that the set point is set for 5 SLPM. If we would like to establish some set point limits within this range, we will go to menu, control, advanced control, control options, and set point limits at the bottom. Now what these limits do is it tells the device not to accept a set point if the set point is out of the range of these limits. So say the minimum we would like to set to 2 SLPM and the maximum we will set to say 30. Now if a set point is given to the device that is outside of this range the device will not accept the set point and come back with an error. Say we would like to send it 1 SLPM which was clearly outside of the range the device will tell us that the set point is out of range. In order to remove these limits, we will go to Menu, Control, Advanced Control, Control Options, and Set Point Limits again. And we can just simply click Remove Limits. And now the device has the 0 to 50 SLPM range again. And that is how to properly send a set point as well as establish set point limits on your AlleyCat device.